Hey guys and welcome back to today's video. Uh, today, uh, I am obviously by the title of the video, I am now doing my first Q and A video. Um, I've had uh, quite a few questions actually over the channel as is uh, on Instagram sometimes. So general questions and in the last couple of weeks actually quite a lot. Have, um, have asked me uh, questions and I've tried to explain myself as best as possible but I think it would be better if I spoke my answer to your questions um, so I've got a couple from I've got a few from um, the actual channel on videos and stuff like that and I've got a few on Instagram at the moment. So what I'm going to do is switch between the both and uh, see how it goes. So uh, hope you enjoy. So on the first question, which is how did I get into RC cars? Now the reason why I got into RC in general uh, was uh, there was a um, a box in the back of my dad's old workshop, and um, which was the Tamiya, and the, what was it? I, when I first saw that, I was like, oh, I really, really like that car. And one day, it was my 11th birthday, I think it was, or 12th, I'm not sure. Um, dad comes home with this box and says, Happy birthday, here's your present. And um, it was my project to actually keep it going, maintain it, and well, where it is now slightly better off the start, but oh well. Next question is, uh, do I like crawlers more than fast cars? So what you're saying is basically fast RTRs, like my Charisma. Um, yes, I generally like crawling, but um, I skill um, thought put into the actual car, you know, how you make it go down the certain track and all that, anyway. Um, but, fast cars I don't really mind. I just don't like crashing or, you know, anyway, there's a higher risk of that happening in a bit, and I don't like keep spending money all the time keeping going with the car. That's why I either I buy a car and I keep it going for a long time. Um, but, Case proven. <laughs> I'm keeping this going for a long time. Six years now. So um, I generally do like crawlers um, compared to fast cars. Next question is what is your most terrible moment whilst filming a video? Good question actually. I think the worst worst was I was with the FTX with the new conversion of the 4370K brushed this motor by Leopard RC. Um, when I first put it in there, I, I took it out on the track and it had the blue forward body on it. And I was going around this one corner and I set the steering trim to minimum steering so it doesn't turn as much. And what I did came out the corner, which was fine, but I hit a bump, which bumped. Bent over out the actual turn, and because like, I couldn't steer back into it because I had no steering, I then straight into my kneecap because I was stood right behind the camera, and the camera got hit, which was the GoPro, and I got um, nailed in the flipping kneecap. So, um, yeah, that hurt. That generally did hurt. That was the worst. Uh, next question is, what camera equipment do I use? Now, at this very moment, I am using my Pentax for filming, uh, which is brand new, uh, which I got not long ago, actually. Um, hopefully it's actually alright, I'm, I'm not too sure what the audio rating is. But, 
first, see how it goes. Um, and then I use my two GoPros and, and what is it? my uh, Fuji XP70. Yeah, that's the general way camera equipment will use. Do an FTX college check. Do right, next question is do an FTX college check. If you're watching this video and you know who answered that, because I think I know who it is. Let me know what the hell you want about when you say that. Um, because I genuinely don't know what you're about. Oh well. Next is, have I ever had a nitro car before? If not, would you get one in the future? Firstly, no. Secondly, no. And this is the reason. The reason I haven't bought one before because it's such high maintenance piece of kit, you have to keep them maintained and keep them up to spec and I'm rubbish at doing that, I can just about manage doing it with this one but um, it's just a hassle and the reason why I'm not going to have one in the future is they're just a pain in the butt, like getting the fuel for it and keeping, you know, cause, oh, my mate has um, an FTX he has some form of nitro car and he's had such a nightmare with it. He's, I think he's had to replace the clutch eight times in the last two years. It's ridiculous and so and they're noisy. You can't go trail them. You have to go races, there's no real racetrack yet. So no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind being given one to have a go at and the view and stuff like that, but I wouldn't want to go and buy one. I would rather Stick with electric. Next is lipo or nickel metahydrides. Nickel metahydrides all the way. Because generally, nickel metahydrides are the safest battery and produce quite a fair amount of power. Lipos produce a lot of power for, for no, no drops. Um, I'm not sure what I'm about the drops is. Um, it did no loss of power towards the end of the charge of the battery. It runs and then it just stops. And that's what I don't like. If you're out somewhere where you can't get to it, but you need it to come back. Like boats, for example. Boats are the worst, I would say, for liver, uh, for light boats. In this liquid metal hydrates, you can tell when the power started to go. But light boats are, and also very unsafe. As I'm in this environment when I'm in college, I don't want this building to catch on fire because light waves have a tendency to actually explode. So, yeah, nickel metal hard drives. Let's see. Merge, merge, see. The other question is what PC specs do I have and what do I end up with? I have, I got it here, it's an AMD A10 Black Edition. Um, Quad core processor, which is about 16 gig. I think it's 16 gig. Things like that. Terrible. Um, but yeah, that's what I've got for my computer. Then I've got storage, 3 terabyte storage, um, external, and then I've got 320 internal with a solid state for running operating system. So everything is quick. You know, everything starts up with like the style up on the computer, that's very quick. But that's generally my spec. Now I run a dual monitor setup. I got my keyboard and mouse, which is by well, mouse by uh, Microsoft. The the actual keyboard's by Logitech. The one of my monitors is by Hands.g, whatever that means, and then I got a Polaroid TV just for why not. Um, and then, and at home, I normally have a 32 inch LG TV, which we but yeah, um, that's my general setup. Computer cost value is good, the rest is free. So, yeah.
Uh, next question is what is my most expensive breaking news? Um, I think it's when I crashed it to the town and come back to what I said before. Uh, I stole it now, big ass. That was genuinely the biggest, most expensive breaking news I've ever done because the battery which blew up. I bought a week before and that was 65 quid for a 64,000 mAh power liquid metal hydride. So it's a pretty big battery and it looks like a bit I've got a request now. Um, it says here I should do a tug of war with my RCs. I might actually do that because I've got the three cards now. Two are pretty similar, that's not, that will tow anything. So this is the winner, I can tell right now, this is going to be the winner. But the others will probably struggle. I don't know, but I will be doing that, I will do that at some point. Um, I generally don't know how far I would get to it. So, will I get another RC car? I genuinely don't think my channel is big enough and sustaining the channel for the three cars. I really want to get new cars, but I wouldn't mind being sponsored actually. I wouldn't mind being sponsored by either FTX or Charisma or Titanium, so I use Titanium. But um, yes, I, I will get another car. So probably Axial, uh, get a proper crawler, not like this one, it's been modified to be a crawler. So yeah, I will get a car hopefully soon. Uh, what cars do I own? Um, as I mentioned, FTX Carnage, Charisma N40 DT and the Tamiya Thundershot, or the uh, Thundershot. Um, I used to have the Tanko Raid, but that no longer in existence. Did the Tammy get fixed? Yes. Slightly. X Max or HBI Savage? X Max. It's just a beast of a thing. Um, I like, but I do recommend. Right, next, this goes on to the next question. I do recommend the HBI Savage because that's not a bad car to get used to things. You know, just general beginner RC. Not too bad. Um, a bit expensive. I will say a bit expensive. But if you got the money, yeah, you very good. If I had a choice of RC, what would I get? Something axial. Probably the Wraith. Yeah. My favourite hobby. <laughs> I'm joking. Obviously, of course, it's us. It genuinely is my favourite hobby at the moment. Um, along with general other stuff like photography, editing, YouTube. You know, RC's up there on the top, I would say. Um, <laughs> I don't want to be sarcastic, but that's just a slogan. Insert a photo of a card as a face part of it. I'm such a terrible person sometimes. Oh god, there you go. Do I play games? Yes, I do. I do play games. I play... On the PC, I play... Um, I play... World of Warships. War Thunder. And then on the PlayStation, I play... Gran Turismo 5 and 6. GTA. Minecraft and just general other bits and pieces as well, so like Lando was it even got Star Trek. <laughs> but yeah, it's generally very random. Um, but yeah, um, that's a general play. I generally play um, driving or fighter games like Hawks 2. I got Hawks 2 as well. That's my one. So here's one. Um, can I say yeah, I'll see this? Because on the back of my FTS card, I've actually got where I go to college. 
Um, the question is, what do I study at college? I study motorsport, level two, engineering at Wiltshire College. Um, I'm based currently at Blackie and also go to Chipley. Um, and it's generally great fun. It is a very good fun. Uh, the reason why I'm not actually uploading quite a lot is actually because I'm stuck doing work. You know, college life, you know, Jesus Christ, no, no time to do anything. Mm. But anyway, um, that's what I'm studying at the moment. This is a really good question. Why did I start YouTube? Just for a laugh. I ge generally, that was the reason. And I was just going to have a laugh, do what I do, um, do what I do best, really, ish. But do what I enjoy. I enjoy RC, I enjoy making videos, and I enjoy photography. And it's all mixed into one. And then doing stuff for you guys, you know. I've had so many. I only mean, genuinely, I've had so many comments on the video saying I inspire them. I, I genuinely do. I wish I could show you, but I, it, they seem like, oh, you know, you, you help me um, get out the get out of the house and go out and enjoy um, uh, what I like, you know, and film it and stuff like that. I inspire people? What? This was it, a year, a year ago, I was just like, oh, I hope that, you know, someone can subscribe to me. Because <laughs> my previous channel, which I ran with a mate, didn't go well. It's still, it's still there, but it's 22 subs, and it's been there for the last four, three years. And I'm just like, I generally hope it doesn't go the way my other channel did. And and it isn't, it's surprisingly gone, you know, quite sky high, and probably not in the subscriber way, but for the views, generally, the views have skyrocketed, literally out of this flipping world, um, considering I'm only 165 subs, it's now at 38,564 views in just over a year. That is generally amazing, and I generally value that so much. Um, I would love the 300, no, 38,550, whatever I said it was, to subscribe, but subscribe? What the fuck was that? Jesus. <laughs> um, but yes, I mean, I would love to subscribe, but Vegas can't be chosen. So, crap. <laughs> um, so, so guys, that is it for today. Um, I know I haven't answered everybody's comments because I haven't even touched the YouTube stuff that I said I was going to do, but the video's getting long and I generally don't want to carry it on further. So, I will do another one, another QA, I mean, sometime soon. Um, and I'll just do it, make a list of all the ones off YouTube and just do the what YouTube ones. But if you are watching this to make my life much easier, comment in this comment section on this video so I know where everybody's comments and questions are. It would just make it much more easier for me. So go and do that. Um, thank you for watching uh, this video. Hope this is any help. Um, and yeah, obviously it's my first QA. So it won't be the last, put it that way. Um, but yes guys, thank you uh, very much for watching and for tuning in. Um, and yes, I do have a couple more videos coming up soon. Um, I've got some of uh, featuring this. If you guys know what it is, it's a programming card. So that's coming up soon, because I've had a request for those as well. Oh, nearly forgot. Before I do wrap it up though, um, I just want to say a few things. There are a couple of people who have just started or restarted their channels, uh, or um, are just genuinely good at making YouTube videos. Um, so 
I do have a three shoutouts. I have three shoutouts to do. Um, one of which is by uh, someone you may know before or know already. Um, he um, is Alan Baxter, who is now reloaded his channel. He's redone it. Um, he's uh, now called it Extreme RC. Um, he's just started a brand new fresh, just trying to build up his um, subscribers back up again. And um, I think I don't know why he, I don't know why he generally he restarted his channel because he has some pretty good content on there already. But I think he just wanted just to make it nice and neat and uh, um, make his life a bit easier. So he started his new channel called Extreme RC. Links in the link in the description below. Uh, then the next one is, if I can find it, is by RC Empire. And he's actually quite local to me, actually. Um, is uh, very brand new uh, to the YouTube uh, group. He, uh, he does the FTX Carnage. Um, the reason why I'm saying is go and actually have a look at the first videos he's made. He's only a couple of videos, but they are of the FTX stock. And because I don't have any of those videos on my channel, I want you guys to go over there and view his videos just to see what the SCX is capable of straight out of the box. So I want you guys to do that now. Well, not now, wait till the video. Um, and then I've got another one, if I can find it. I know, I know it is, but I just want to make sure I'm not saying it wrong. Elite RC. Um, he's doing a general good job of actually making some pretty decent videos. Hasn't been up on YouTube for long, actually. But he has rebuilt his channel like Aaron Baxter has. But the reason why he did it was because he had a house fire in his life. And coming back to you know, sounding kind of familiar now. Um, so he's um, redoing it, and I'm too honest, he's doing a fair, fair good job. Getting to well, he's doing his 100 subscribers um, thank you video. Um, so go over there and check it out, some pretty good, decent music videos, and it's a general good laugh, I think. So, those are my three shoutouts for today. I'm pretty tired, I'm going to crack on with some work, and let's go to more videos. But yes, thank you guys for watching, as always, and I hopefully you tune in for the next video. But until then, bye for now.